A huge sense of anticipation ahead of the first World Cup event since March. The venue, Carlo Vivari in the Czech Republic, a beautiful Bohemian spa town some 130 kilometres west of Prague. A star-studded field of nearly 60 women included new world champion Georgia Taylor-Brown, plus former champs Katie Zafirez and Flora Duffy. No surprise at all, though, that it was Jess Learmonth who was the star of the swim. This a full Olympic distance race, so 1,500 metres in the water, and Learmonth established a huge lead. Others going well, though, included Zafirez, and also Lopez and Natalie Vancouver. But look at the gap there as Jess Limont came out fully 15 seconds ahead of her nearest rival. However, there were some problems in transition for the 32-year-old Brit. Couldn't get the wet so off. Sometimes the harder you pull, the worse it gets. Fortunately, she was able to get out of the wetsuit in the end, although it did enable those chases to get a little bit closer. The fear is uh, always right there in the swim. Sense a bit of frustration from Learmont, but at least she knew she would be in that leading group on the bike. She allowed the likes of Katie Zafiris, who had a really poor T2 in Hamburg last weekend, but in T1 this weekend, no problems at all for the American. And she was away quickly, along with Learmont. And those two rather got the jump on everybody else. An early 10-second advantage was extended throughout the race. Problems in behind, particularly from Flora Duffy. Look at this, a really narrow escape for the Bermudian. Had to take evasive action, just about managed to recover. Otherwise, that could have been nasty. Meanwhile, up front, the lead was around about 30 seconds at the halfway point. However, Zafiris was dropped by Learmont a couple of laps from the end of the bike. So the Brit came into T2 alone, although she knew there were some stellar runners behind her. A couple of issues racking the bike. It took maybe a little longer than she wanted to get into the shoes, and she could see them now bearing down on her as the herd came into T2, but still Limop was away with a 17-second lead out of transition. Not that that would last very long. Got to admire the boldness of Learmont's tactics, but Flora Duffy wore her down inside the first lap on the run. A real statement of intent from Duffy, who's had so many injury issues over the last couple of years. Georgia Taylor-Brown, the new world champ, admitted she wasn't feeling 100%, but still good enough for the silver medal position, and a breakthrough day for Maya Kingma. The Dutchwoman got past Learmont into third. No danger, though, up front for Duffy. The first time she'd have crossed the line first in a triathlon for nearly two and a half years. And the satisfaction self-evident on her face. In behind, Taylor Brown, comfortable enough in second to follow her victory in Hamburg last weekend. And the biggest smile of the day was from Maya Kingma, the first podium of her career and you could see what it meant to her. The day, though, belonged to Duffy. Wow, it was so hard, man. That was such a shock to the system. I mean, first Olympic distance of the year and on such a challenging course with, as you said, a stacked field. I mean, the swim was just on. Jess is unbelievable, unbelievably strong on the bike. I mean, yeah, I was just trying to recover from the swim for most of the bike, honestly, which is hard to do on this type of course. Um, but we worked pretty well together on the bike and I knew it was just going to come down to a hard run to just try to get as much nutrition in as possible on the bike and ride strong but not overextend myself and the run just felt like survival but I'm just so thrilled to, to win a race. I know that sounds sounds kind of cheesy but it's been a long time that I've you know since I've won a race at this level and it's just a huge confidence boost and yeah just something I feel like I personally really needed and yeah just fantastic to get out there and race with all the girls again. Something of a familiar pose then, the double world champion getting a gold medal round her neck. A really big result this for Flora and battle will be rejoined on the World Cup circuit in Italy next month.